Hey, what's brewing coffee lovers? Hope you're doing well. So I thought I'd do a set of videos where we could spotlight a coffee roaster that maybe I think is a bit underrated, a bit of a hidden gem, maybe someone you haven't heard of and you might want to, you know, make a purchase and have a look at them. So the first one I'm going to uh, recommend to you guys is a company called Mission Coffee Works. The first time I came aware of Mission Coffee Works was when I visited a cafe called Coffee Circus up in Crouch End. Uh, and this was at the time the most northerly point of the round that I used to do when I used to deliver caffeine magazine in my car. So this was around sort of six years ago now. Even though the first time that I uh, learned about Mission was probably in 2014, Actually, they've been around for a little bit longer than that. By all accounts from their website, they say that they started in 2012 from a street van in Peckham. I didn't know about them then, but um, they obviously have a little bit more history than, than I was aware. So they've now been around for about eight years. Now, I don't know a great deal about the team at Mission. Uh, Janus, who is the owner there, um, I've, never, I've never met him. Um, however, I have met Eros, who is their head roaster, on a number of occasions at various different coffee festivals and he is a really lovely guy. So just recently they have sent us some coffees and um, they sent us two coffees. Uh, one of them is uh, this Kenyan coffee called Yara and the other one is uh, Conga Wot and that's from Ethiopia. The Conga Wot is a naturally processed coffee and the Kenyan is washed. Now it looks like uh, Mission have recently redesigned their packaging. Uh, I remember when they had a sort of a, a more of a brown packaging um, with a little bit more detail on them. But they seem to have gone to these white bags and they're a little bit more simple now. At the moment on the website they appear to have uh, four different filter coffees of which these two were sent to us. So they were sent to us for free, um, but we weren't asked to do a review on them. I just wanted to bring them to your attention because I think they're pretty good. I brewed both of these coffees in a V60 and I did it to very standard proportions of 16 parts per water to one part coffee. Now the first one I'm going to talk about is the Conga Wot. This is a naturally processed coffee from Ethiopia. The tasting notes on this are mango, blueberry and chamomile tea. Now tasting notes, that's a thing to talk about but I won't get too into it at the moment. I think they sometimes can be a little far off. To my taste buds though, I do get the blueberry. Um, there is a real, there, there is a noticeable uh, natural aroma when brewing the coffee and also that sort of more natural uh, flavor profile to this coffee as well. I don't get the mango specifically, although I do get a nice fruity sweetness from it. And I don't think I get uh, chamomile tea specifically, but there is a tea-like quality to the coffee. This coffee has definitely got a more rounded body to it. There's definitely some density, some thickness to it. Uh, it's really, really pleasing. It's a really nice, sweet, juicy coffee. Uh, if you just want something which is really, really drinkable that you can brew day after day, I would highly recommend this. It's, it's actually, it's really very, very good. The Conga Wot is 11 pounds and 10p for 250 grams. Next, we're gonna get on to the Yara from uh, Kenya. This is a quite a typical Kenyan coffee. It's got uh, flavor notes of rhubarb, pink grapefruit and lemonade. Now what I do get from this is definitely that grapefruit, that sharpness, that tartness that kind of cuts through. It is quite a, a, th a much thinner uh, coffee than before in terms of mouthfeel. Definitely feels slicker, more watery. Uh, there is a sense of rhubarb here. I wouldn't call it a rhubarb flavor, but I do get the tartness of rhubarb. And what I do find also is where it says lemonade, I get definitely a sharp citrus taste, but I also get a sweet sugary um, flavor from this as well. So I wouldn't say it tastes of lemonade, but I do get that it is lemony and I do get there is a sugary sweetness in the coffee as well. 
What I would say about the Kenya coffee is that as it cools down, you do start to get a little bit more of a roasty characteristic coming from the bean. I think if I'm being really critical, it has been very slightly over roasted for, you know, for a Kenyan coffee. The Kenyan Jara is £10.90 for 250 grams. When brewing this coffee, you don't tend to get a great deal of aroma. It's uh, not like the Ethiopian coffee, which you can definitely get some of that more natural characteristics from it. It's, uh, it's, a, lot less, um, it's a lot less standout in terms of its um, aroma when brewing. Anyway, that's just a quick video. I just wanted to bring to your attention uh, a roaster who sent us some coffee, who I think are pretty good actually. And uh, I really recommend that if you want to try somebody different, if you've never heard of Mission, go and give them a try, uh, see what you think of them too. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope to do another one of these uh, next weekend. Cheers now, bye bye.